One of the 21st century skills is team working, working collaboratively on a project to solve a problem or complete a task. This type of collaboration does not necessarily have to happen in a real-time environment. OneNote is the perfect tool to allow students or teachers to interact on a single document. That document does not necessarily only have to provide text and graphics, but also audio and video. Setting up a shared notebook in OneNote is quite simple. You can use a network environment using a shared drive, or you can use an intranet type of environment using a product like SharePoint. In the example following, I will set up a simple shared document holder using a custom list, and then make that available for students to collaboratively work on that document. For me to make a document available for students to work on in a collaborative space, I can choose either put it on a shared drive on a network or on some sort of intranet. Most schools have SharePoint that they use as their intranet software. I'll give you an example using SharePoint today. It's really quite simple. All you need to do is set up a custom list, attach a document, and then students can open it from there at the same time if they wish. So, to do that, I'll make a new list. Under Site Actions, I go to Create, and I look for Custom List. Custom List asks me to give it a name. For my um, example today, we're going to do a brainstorming activity on game design. So, we'll give it a title. Alright, so game design, click here, insert, that's good to go. And the next thing to do is to look for an extra column. So I'd like to call it brainstorming and then give, allocate that to a, to a student group. So under settings, I'll go to list, list settings and create an extra column, which I think is a little bit lower now. Create a column. Give the column a name. Team. Alright, I'm happy with that. Right to move on. There are a few other options that you can choose along here, but for the purpose of this example, I'll just go ahead and let the students work with that. Now if I go back to the game design list, as a teacher I need to put the document in there first. And then once the document's in there, they can go ahead and edit it themselves. So if I go to new, all right, it's about brainstorming, so I'll quickly give it the title. All right, that worked pretty well. And I'll go ahead and allocate this to a team. Jenny and Sue. All right, Jenny and Sue have got, are going to do a brainstorm. Now, the final thing I have to do is attach a file. So in the attach a file section, I'll just go ahead and browse. Let me just remove that for a minute. And I've put it in drive D, and I've called it the OneNote Computer Game Design. All right, so if I return back to that, press OK. Here's brain design, Brainstorm for Jenny and Sue. Now, what we'll do next, after we've concluded with this, is that we'll move on how a student works with this. And we'll set up two computers so two students can look at the same document. So now here I have two machines. I've got Sue at this machine, and I've got Jenny at this machine. Both of them could be at different parts of the, of the room, or in different rooms, different parts of the school, they don't have to be doing this at the same time. They just have a single document that, that they can collaborate on together. All right? Now remember that document was called um, Brainstorm on Game Design. So what Sue and Jenny need to do is just open up this document. For the purpose of this demonstration, we'll have them both opening at the same time. So they'll go to the Year 9 project site and look for that collaborative workspace. That workspace I called Game Design. They'll do exactly the same on their own computers. Now, I would normally have a list of all the students that I want to work collaboratively together on that workspace. Currently all you see there is Jenny and Sue. Now Jenny and Sue would just both open up Brainstorm. Right. And then open up the attachment called Computer Game Design Brainstorm. Now they are opening that file 
It's a one note file, so it automatically opens up in one note. Okay, they can either open up the section or they can open up a notebook. I'm going to select open up the section. Now what they're presented with now is that blank game design um, brainstorm section. Now they might decide between the two of them that Jenny will go ahead and answer question one and Sue will go ahead and answer question two. So to make this, make this happen a little more quickly, I'll go ahead and be Jenny for a moment. List five computer games you consider to have addictive play. Maybe she likes Duke Nukem. Um, Mario. Uh, um, anything that's interactive on the Wii. Now, that's Jenny. Now, Sue might be given the task to answer question two, which is write down five aspects each on what makes the games you listed engaging. Well, there could be great music. There could be um, some sort of pressure or first person. Now, now that they've done that independently, remember they can do it on different days, at different times, at different places. They'll just go ahead and close their notebook. And any of the changes they make should be there. And they might go back and review it in a week, or their teacher can, and they can have a look at what happened. So let's say Sue decides that she'll go in, and she's decided that she wants to add a game, even though she wasn't asked to do that task, but she's going to go ahead and brainstorm that section as well. So we'll wait for her computer game design to open. And hopefully all the changes that Jenny made will be there with Sue's. And they are on the single document. So she's going to add another, another game on there. She really likes the, um, the Sports Olympics games. OK, there you go. So she'll go ahead and close it. Now her addition will be put on there. From there, the teacher can just grab the brainstorm and share that with the rest of the class. So really, it's quite simple. Teacher needs to open up a, a shared workspace, a simple custom list, add a OneNote document to there, and then any of the students that she wants to access that document can just go ahead and go in and make the changes in their own time. It's not a real-time environment, but it is a collaborative environment.